Well, as you can see, some big changes here. The Plymouth is gone. The only remnants of it are the little catch pan for the transmission oil leak. Um, sold the Plymouth, that's right. It is gone, I sold it a few weeks ago. I've been so busy traveling that I have not had time to film an update. Uh, it went to a fantastic new home. A young man named Zach purchased it. Uh, first car that he bought with his own money and he's gonna use it as a daily driver, which I think is awesome. Uh, so he and his dad, Mike, uh, they watch the channel, they watch some of the other uh, great YouTube channels out there that are part of the car community, and they are slowly going through it, fixing it up, fixing daily driver stuff like wipers, fuel gauge, that kind of stuff that I never paid any mind to. Um, so fantastic story there. It could not have gone to a better home, and I feel really, really good about it, and I hope it treats them as well as it did us. Um, reason I sold the Plymouth, we're making garage space. Um, at first, I was going to buy a hot rod, 30s or 40s, kind of looking at some old deuce coupes and uh, Ford pickup trucks, stuff like that. Um, couldn't find really any Mopars, so kind of scrapped that idea, decided, we kind of pivoted. We really want to do Route 66, Power Tour, some of the other events. Um, so I wanted something comfortable, more modern that my wife could enjoy as well as I. Um, so decided. I was going to finally pull the trigger on what has been one of my dream cars for 11 years. So it gets delivered tomorrow, and we'll catch up with you when it gets delivered in about 20 hours. Well, it has arrived. 2019 Plum Crazy Challenger RT. I have been dreaming of this car. I worked at a Dodge dealership in 2013 and I uh, had a customer get a Plum Crazy RT with the six-speed manual and I've wanted one ever since. And 11 years later, we finally pulled the trigger. I wish the sun was out so this color would really show itself. But uh, this is a, a 19 with 30,000 miles on it, one owner. It's got the black top package, so it's blacked out, um, and the, the flat black spoiler. It's got the plus package, the technology package, the Napa suede leather package, the Harman Kardon sound system, and most importantly, the Tremec six-speed manual. So, it was just delivered. I'm a <laughs> little bit of a bummer here. I think the driver opened this door up into a gas pump because there was yellow paint that was still wet and it's raining out so pretty sure that's what happened but I mean what are you gonna do stuff happens but other than that it's pretty flawless I took a pretty detailed walk around it really couldn't find anything um, of course it's filthy now that it's been driving in the rain but uh, man this thing is sweet It's uh, super clean. If we pop the hood here. Extremely clean under here too. I mean, you can just tell. This thing was garaged. It was kept. Uh, supposedly the previous owner was an older gentleman who clearly kept this thing really clean. She's pretty well pristine. Sounds great. It's all stock. Um, looked at some scat packs, thought about it. Um, we ended up going with the RT. And uh, let's see if we can back it in the sun here, actually. Get, see if we can, we can pop the color. Yep. That, uh, it also accentuated how dirty it is, but made the plum crazy pop. Man, that's a cool color. It does not show up as sweet on camera as it does in person. Um, so anyway, I was thinking about a scat pack and just for the price difference, scat packs from what I understand are not very modifiable. Um, the, the RTs, you can get a the Whipple supercharger um, and a number of other things that you can do to them. It sounds great though. I'll probably leave the exhaust stock. Um, 
I really like the blackout, uh, the, the blacktop package with the exception of I wish the RT was red. But uh, other than that, the blacktop package is sweet because it does the blacked out wheels, does the black spoiler, the black fuel cap. And then it's got the plus package, which does like the, the bigger screen with the nav, uh, some of the other options, the power seats, stuff like that, I believe. Um, and then it's got the technology package, like the blind spot monitoring and all that good stuff. Uh, the Napa suede seats um, package that I'm pretty excited about. Um, but yeah, like I said, the six speed is why we bought this thing. A plum crazy six speed Challenger has always been one of my dream cars. And uh, here we are, we own one. So really exciting. Well, uh, I got a couple errands to run, and you better believe I'm taking this thing. Dealership's still got to um, mail me a plate here, so we're going to allegedly use a plate off something else. To go for the first drive. This thing sounds fantastic stock. this level of uh, aggressiveness. Oh, yeah, a little chirp in second. Jesus, this is the day that we get caught behind slowest drivers I've ever been around in my life. this video is coming out because I'm kind of trying to enjoy my new car but document it at the same time but man this thing is sick there was uh once we stopped filming there was a couple one two shifts where and granted the roads are the roads are, are wet um but there was a couple one two shifts where it was just you'd hit second just completely sideways and then it would straighten back out and then traction control would kick back off and then you feel the power really come into it because traction control would kick off this thing is nasty it sounds way cooler than I thought it would. It shifts way smooth. There's a lot of complaints about the, um, I think it's called a clutch release limiting valve or something. There's some, there's some technology in these newer cars where it 
when you press the clutch in, it's normal, but when the clutch comes out, it like modulate, tries to auto modulate it or something. There's a lot of complaints about that with this car. Either that valve has been eliminated on this one, which it's a mod a lot of people do, or it's, it's not what people say it is because I think it shifts fantastic. And it's just very positive short throw shifts. Not something I'm used to. Um, obviously we got the Shelby and the big, you know, the, the, the first, second gen, you know, that's all sloppy. This one is, it's tight for an eighties car, but it's not short throw like this thing is. This thing is nasty. It's interesting. It, it's such an old school feel versus um, what I thought it would be. I thought it would feel like a new car. It, it really doesn't. It has that old school feel. So it's kind of funky to have navigation and AC and, and you know, the, the, the ride quality, all that kind of stuff that you get in a newer car with that old school feel. I am, I am very, very pleased with the purchase. I am very glad we went this direction. We will get a lot of use out of it. So looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.